If you or your loved one have some aches and pains setting in, or an injury that needs support to heal, consider topping up your body with Kane's Deer Velvet. It's packed full of amazing nutrients that the body uses in maintaining the immune system, bones, joints, circulation and general well-being. Find out more at www.kanesdeervelvet.com and use the code STAGRAW252 for an introductory 20% discount at checkout. Welcome back to the 235 Club. Of course, from the NZDA, um, this is the uh, second book that I've purchased off that website. It's super handy, super awesome delivery. Uh, NZDA coming up to 75 years. Amazing stuff. Um, standing up for hunters and shooters in this country. Right. We're up at South Kapita Head. This is nothing like the one that I shot. <laughs> uh, Richard V. Morris. It's a 14 by 14. It was 2002. Um, and it's number two on the 235 Club. So the length is 31 and 4 eighths by 28 and 4 eighths. The spread is 28 and 5. The span is 21 and 4. Beams are four and one by four. The coronets are seven and four by seven and six. Uh, the points brow tines six and four by six and six. The upper off trays um, left side zero and five. The trays six and six by six and three. And down off the guard on the left hand side is two and one eighth. Of course, these little extras don't really count. Um, the guards they are eleven and three by twelve. Remaining palm points by number, 9 by 9. Brilliant. I suppose so they add to, add to the uh, total number of points, don't they? Uh, inner off the palm on the right-hand side is 6 and 6. The upper off the inner on the right-hand side is 2 and 2. Right, the palms length without points, 16 and 5 by 19 and 4. Width without points, 6 and 2 by 6 and 6 eighths. And width, 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 ugh, this is a tongue twister, width, width points 8 and 6 by 8 so the total for number 2 of the 235 club is 258 and 3 eighths Morris had sighted this magnificent buck on one of his pre-rut scouting trips and had assessed his antlers deciding he was worth stalking and taking the following day he returned to the Kanaka Gully where he had first located the buck and commenced his stalk it was still early in the rut so Morris was in no hurry and besides he was on private land with little danger of competition. <laughs> okay. Um, looking down a steep face, a buck of common coloration could be seen below him, which gave the impression his antlers were not as good as the one Morris had sighted on the previous day. By the time this buck allowed him a better view of his antlers and positive confirmation he was the right one, Morris had considered a shot to be risky, so refrained from squeezing the trigger. Two further forays resulted in fleeting glimpses of his quarry. By the time the rut was in full swing, lesser bucks were holding does around the periphery of his quarry's territory. Late in the afternoon, Morris commenced what was to be his last stalk, with only about two hours of daylight remaining. His quarry was at last encountered, lying down on a rutting scrape and about 130 metres off. Only a small stretch of his back was visible but Morris decided to take the chance rather than risk trying to get closer. He lined up the 270 and squeezed the trigger. The buck rose to his feet, mortally wounded, a second shot, making sure of the trophy. Good on you, Richard. Well done. That is awesome. So, Edgar Tyson is up next. Black Clear Burn, circa 1912. Join us there on the 235 Club. Make sure you're subscribed to the Stagrill podcast and uh, left the rating. Kia ora, you're listening to the 235 Club, the New Zealand Big Game Record Series, The Fallow Deer, Volume 3, written and compiled for the New Zealand Deer Stalkers Association, incorporated by D. Bruce Banwell. Volume 3 of the series of New Zealand Big Game Trophy Records, written and compiled by D. Bruce Banwell on behalf of the New Zealand Deer Stalkers Association, incorporated Published by the Halcyon Press, a division of Halcyon Publishing Limited, PO Box 360 Auckland, 1015 New Zealand, printed through Collarcraft Limited, Hong Kong. The copyright D. Bruce Banwell, 2003, first published 2003, all rights reserved. <laughs> 